Yeah, bud. You here yet? I'm right out front. You see Roscoe? Yeah, he's on aisle three B shopping for brown rice. <laughs> Not exactly the kind of food to buy when you're running. Now, Cheyenne was right. He jumped about a year ago. He's starting to get cocky. I don't know. The way he looks to me, he's still got an edge. So what do you want to do? You want to take him inside or out here? Uh, sweetie, did you say jalapeno or mild? Hey, hey, you have a problem? Hot. Very hot. I'm on my way in. Bobby Six Killer. Thanks for the help. So I can see you're poaching now, huh, Landry? Well, that one's ours. Forget it. You lost him. We found him. Lost him? We had him. Had is the operative word here. OK, OK, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. We flushed him, you bagged him. Fair enough. Let's split a 50-50. What do you say, boys, huh? When's the last time you split a fee, Six Killer? Just a thought, Bobby. But it's a lot easier when you let the prey come to you. Another day. He was a cop and good at his job, but he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other cops gone bad. Cops that tried to kill him, but got the woman he loved instead. Framed for murder, now he prowls the Badlands, an outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter, a renegade. <laughs> Four days of stakeout, 19 hours of computer net time. Plus gas, plus meals. And we lose Roscoe Burns to who? Luke Landry, that low-down vulture scum sucking. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get him. Beware the wrath of Bobby Six Killer. Excuse me, are you listening to me? Now, you've been on this tired thing for two days already. Will you give it a rest? I can't. He broke the bounty hunter's code. We don't have a code. Now, why are you so competitive with this guy? I met Landry five years ago. <sighs> he had just done a short stretch in prison had heard about me on the inside from some guys that I had brought in. So he came after you? Yeah, looking for a job. So I started to train him, but he had a sadistic streak as wide as the Interstate 5. So you cut him loose, and he beat you out of a bounty. Let it go. I've got it. I I've got it. Bailiff's office. Watch this. Yes, hello, this is Luke Landry, and uh, a couple days ago I turned into Bounty Roscoe Burns. Well, I've misplaced the check, and, well, could you possibly cancel payment on that check? I'm afraid someone's gonna forge my signature. Thank you. You're kidding. Are you sure? Uh, well, um, <laughs> obviously I have the wrong county. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. What, what's up? They don't have Roscoe Burns. Landry hasn't turned him in yet. Something's fishy. I mean, why would Landry give up a payday? Hey, Bobby. Which one of you is Bobby Sixkiller? I am. I am.
fine. I'll shoot you both. He, he is. is. Very funny. Uh, listen, ma'am, I, I don't know who you are, but if that thing's loaded... It is. You're about to make a big mistake here. No, I think you are the one who made the mistake when you killed my husband. We haven't killed anybody lately. Who was your husband? As if you don't know. Roscoe Burns. Ho hold on a second. We didn't catch him. Yeah, sure you didn't. You know, apparently you have quite a rep in San Quentin. He wasn't afraid of the cops catching him, but he was always talking about Bobby's six killer. Yes, well, I'm flattered, but did he mention Luke Landry to you? No, never heard of him. We had your husband cornered in the supermarket three nights ago with every intention of taking him in. But this Landry guy came by and took him out from under us. He was taken alive. Well, that's funny. Considering the county called me in yesterday to identify his body. He was shot in the back. We understand your grief, but you got the wrong two guys here. Mrs. Burns, we promise you that we didn't kill your husband, but we sure as hell will find out who did. Come on. That's it. Looking for a job, Bobby? Funny line, Luke. You been saving that for me? Get to the point or get out. Where's Roscoe Burns? That's none of your business. Yeah, well, maybe it's the business of the cops, huh, Luke? You were the last one to see him alive, and I'll testify to that. Go ahead. I already have. Both you guys, chill. Come on. Five years ago, you told me you were an expert at every weapon, from crossbow to tow missile. Use any of these on Roscoe Burns? When did you become a bleeding heart? The man was a fugitive. After you left, he tried to escape. He was unconscious! He failed! Any further questions? Then get the hell out of my office. He's off. He's off. Come on. You're a murderer, and I'm gonna prove it. really want the details? Yes, I want the details. Have you eaten yet? Margaret, look, I don't have time to play, OK? No, no, no. It's just a tad unpleasant. I can take it. Tell me. OK. He had a hole in him the size of a skillet. Jeez, don't spare me, Margaret. 30 odd bullet or bigger, range about 20 feet. The first shot came from far behind, though. First shot? Both intestines were ruptured. His stomach was bisected back to front. More velocity would have ripped him out completely. You can spare me now, Margaret. Uh, listen, I don't quite follow you. OK, he was shot first in the leg from about 100 yards out. The wound slowed him down a lot. And what you're saying is then somebody came back and finished him off? I'd say so. Any other unusual details? Not really, except for the sand. Sand? What sand? You want to come for a ride? I got a nice little late car pileup. Please tell me, what sand? OK, OK. There were traces of sand found both in his mouth and throat. Like beach sand? No, more like the kind of sand you'd find in the high desert. Gotta go. Call me. No, no, I, I don't object. Throwing knives are fine. It's just that most of our clientele prefer to stay a safe distance from the target. 
Unless, of course, they have some of my support team. Uh, all right. Now, you're going to be going out with two other hunters that like to take game at close range. That could be dangerous. Now, I won't be responsible if you can't protect yourself. So I suggest that you bring a sidearm. <laughs> I like your confidence, Mr. Lopez. Stay by the phone. That is our most lucrative package so far. There's only one problem. We still need a target. OK. There's two problems. Six killer came by today, and he's very, very hot about Roscoe Burns. Hot enough to make trouble? I don't know. Well, I may have solved both our problems. You're right about that long hair who was with him when we grabbed Burns. Quite a coincidence, eh? Oh, I don't believe in coincidence. After we're through with him, we tie him right to Six Killer. Oh, there you go. Harboring a fugitive is a serious crime. A felony, I believe. Bobby, it's me. Shy, I need you. Where are you? Cabrillo and Six. He just went into Piatti's. Oh, he's learned some style since I've known him. I, I can't go in there. He'll notice me in a second. Well, we're three minutes away. Good. Sis, yeah. uh, when you're in there, don't order any food. You'll break me. Club soda with a twist and a menu, please. Mike Divick, crossbow. Eric Lopez, throwing knives. And this is Gene Collins. He favors machine pistols. I have the utmost respect for all of you gentlemen. No high-powered rifles at this table. You hunt the way men have hunted from earliest history. You put yourself at risk, making the kill all the more satisfying. We should be satisfied for 100,000 apiece. Mr. Collins. My service is unique. I'm providing you with an experience that you can't find anywhere else in the world, outside of the military. How do you put a price tag on that? Thank you. How'd you do? Pretty fair. These are the guys he was meeting with. Not a bad start for a rogue gang, if you ask me. Did you recognize anybody in there? No, but I paid the valet to get his plates. I'll run him. I wonder what he's doing in there. I don't know, man, but whatever it is, it has something to do with money and bullets and a trunk big enough it takes two guys to carry it. Hey, here he comes. I'll stay in touch. Hi, First American. Yes, this is Clem Valance from Liberty Realty. Uh, we're holding a check from one of your accounts. Landry, Luke, Jay. The amount is $150,000. We'd like to know if it's going to clear. You don't even have to look it up? Oh. Uh, thank you very much. Do you believe that? This guy can clear a six-figure check without a blink. I can't even do that. Reckon he made all that hunting bounties? Not bloody likely. Well, get this. One of his lunch partners was convicted and fined $10,000 two years ago for poaching on federal land. Poaching? He was trying to shoot a buffalo with a crossbow. Knock, knock. Hi. Hi. Please, come on in. Sit down. Make yourself at home. I'm sorry to bother you. It's just 
The house just seems so empty and... Oh, it's no bother. Sit down. I got nothing else to think about. Have you made any progress? Some. We've been tracking Landry around the clock. We think he's up to something that may shed some light on your husband's death. Oh, God, I hope so. It's just not knowing. It's just driving me crazy. Well, here is something that we do know. These are 10 fugitives Landry cashed in uh, since last year, one of them being your husband. Nine of them are DOA. Looks like you've done this drill before. Do you see what I mean, Derek? It's so much easier when you let them come to you. You're sure this is where Reno said he was? He said he was going to check in every 15. That was two hours ago. Come on, let's look around for something. Empty. You know, this could be nothing, you know. Reno's phone. How do you know? Busy. I just dialed his number. Hey, Bobby. You recognize this place? Looks like a desert. Well, great. Now we've narrowed it down to five states. Well, just for that, you get to figure out where this is. Morning, Mr. Raines. Time to put on your game face. Didn't you like your meal? I didn't want to be fat enough for the kill. Well, nobody says you have to die. Tell that to Roscoe Burns. Mr. Collins? One of those shots missed. Let's go. Ready, Mr. Divick? What's that, about 40 yards? More like 50. I'd say he's ready. <laughs> Very nice. Mind if I try? Remember, no wrist snap. Just let it slide out of your hand. Ah, nice try. Move back a foot or two, maybe you'll sink the point. Watch. Now I know why you're so confident, Mr. Lopez. Gentlemen, would you join us, please? Meet your target. This man killed a police officer. He was captured, convicted, 
but he escaped justice until now. I wish I could say it was a pleasure. This is a 7,000-acre ranch bordered by a wildlife preserve. The nearest town is 110 miles away. Somewhere on this property is a brand new Jeep with a set of keys in it. You find it, you go free. But you better hope that one of our hunters don't find you first. Now, you'll be given a full hour head start. Any questions? Yeah. Which one of you guys plugged Roscoe Burns? That client isn't here today. He was shot in the back with a 30 odd 6 Very sporting. We use only fugitives in our small enterprise. Wanted alive or dead. And we have Bobby Sixkiller to thank for serving you up to us on a silver platter, Mr. Reigns. <clears throat> oh. Don't be stupid. Now, we can either kill you right now or you can take a chance and run. The decision is up to you. How much did you guys pay, huh? 50,000? 100,000? Well, you made a lousy investment, because I ain't running. We can do this for the next hour, but then our clientele won't be getting its money's worth. Keep it up. I'll kill you myself. Then I'll take days to do the job, maybe weeks. Then I'll start in with that little blonde that Six Killer claims is his sister. You got me? You're at 59 minutes and counting. I thought the rule was an hour. There's only one rule here, Mr. Reigns. No rules. Achmea Fasciata. A hundred miles inland. This is the high desert, not the jungle. Oh, baby, are you ever lost? I'm coming with you. No. Damn it, Bobby. No, sis, listen to me. If we're wrong about this ranch, somebody has to be here to help Reno. If we're right and I fail, one of us has to be around to tell the tale. Come on, I'll flick it for it. I love you, sis. far north. You've never seen one in this area. Who the hell are you? Is there a place to hide in this ranch? It's not a ranch. It's a wildlife preserve. Just answer my question, OK? Why, 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 why do you want to hide? Because three men are trying to kill me. They'll do the same to you. That is, if they're in a good mood. Uh, I'm a botanist. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Nobody wants to kill me. Archer must have been 50 yards away. If he was 50 yards away, we'd be shish kebab. Where's your car? I don't have one. My professor dropped me off. I'm camping. Damn. When's he coming back? Three days. No offense, but why do they want to kill you? For fun. Fun? What kind of supplies do you have? With me? A camera, tape recorder, notebooks. Weren't you ever a Girl Scout? I said with me. Back at my camp, I have food, first aid, shortwave radio, flare gun. Now you're talking. Where's your camp? East. Two kilometers. I didn't see it from the hill, so maybe they didn't either. Hey, what's your name? Vince Black. Nancy. Nancy Carter. Nancy Carter. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Let's go. 
Dimmick! Chill, man. It's only me. Don't ever come up on me like that. Found this back there along with one of your birds. Looks like you missed. Yeah, looks like you haven't even gotten a shot off yet. I would have if I was hunting you. Look, we're both trying to kill this guy, right? Can't we at least cooperate? I came to compete. Have you seen this guy's karate? He's good. And he just might find that jeep. But if we track him together... So when we find him, we both take a shot. Shouldn't be too hard to tell which of us got him. He's got some girl with him. What? Where the hell she come from? How do I know? We're supposed to be the only ones out here. Tends to undermine my confidence in our host. Yeah, but it solves our other problem. Whichever one of us gets the fugitive, the other one gets the girl. I want them both. Yeah. So, uh, maybe I should go in first. I mean, you're the one they want to kill. You think they want to leave witnesses? Think about it. That arrow came a lot closer to you than it did to me. Don't remind me. All right, look. Stay here. When I signal for you to come over, go inside of your tent, look for your flare gun and your radio, OK? Are you all right? Are you kidding? If you had said yes, I would have thought you were a liar. was wearing moccasins. The other two had boots on. What knife guy? Vince! Shouldn't leave knives lying around. They're dangerous. No. See if we can find the radio. Maybe not. Jesus, look at his leg. Leave him. Right. Take parallel lines. I'll be 50 yards to your right. Let's go. I've got something we could use back at the tent. Is this a map of the area? Very astute. Save the sarcasm. I'm a New Yorker. It's my nature. OK, where are we? Here. The best place to hide a Jeep. Where's the worst place to hide the Jeep? Out here. But it's really rough and rocky. I don't even think you can make it. OK, look. Give me your bag. Go there, hide, and wait for me. What are you going to do? I'm going to slow him down. Go, go. Anything? Somebody got hurt on the southeast quarter. Gunfire after that, but the mites couldn't make out any voices. Damn it, that's not good. If we don't have a kill within the hour, I'm going out there myself. <laughs> 
Nice try. Divik! Is that you? Divik! I thought I told you to hide. I, Vince, I, I found the Jeep. Let's go. Oh, my God. Are in it. All right, let's go. I'm gonna check. What? Keys are in it, but there's no battery. Yeah, there's only one rule. No rules. Where's your map? Now where are we going? To find another vehicle. Yeah, knowing these guys, I'm sure they'll just let us walk up and pick one. What are the buildings? Right here. What are they using them for? Used to be a ranch, but I guess the guy's kids didn't want to work it, so it turned to seed. And the federal government turned all the land north of here into a wildlife preserve. I've been doing research here for the past three years. For what? My PhD. It's on biodynamic competition and hostile ecosystems. Hostile ecosystems, huh? Could have done that research in New York. <laughs> Funny. Have you ever used one of those before? Nope. Figures. You? Oh, yeah, all the time, on the subway. Do you have any more pleasant surprises for me? Because if you do, do you think you can let me know now? You always come here alone? Is that a pickup line? Funny. Huh. I never saw anybody here before. Last week, I thought I heard gunshots, but it just seemed impossible. I guess I should have checked it out. I'm glad you didn't try. Come on. That sounded like World War III a while ago. What happened out there? I don't know. But I got a vehicle coming in from the west. Sounds like a four-wheeler. Well, let's go. Come on, you got to get out there. Stay in contact. Right. You got everything you need? Definitely. I'd really hate to steal all the fun from Landry. But if I have to, I will. Divek's dead. Lopez is back there with a broken leg. Where's the target? I don't know, but when I find him. Yeah, right. Does he have a weapon? Lopez's knives, probably. All right, you go with him. I'm going to do another sweep of the south end. Behind that push. Do it now. You don't have to be so rough about it. Shh. What are you gonna do? Well, I'm not gonna put apples on our heads. Flag him down. Are you crazy? Don't you trust me? No. Look, if I went out there, they'd get me in one second. Right, and in my case, what, they're gonna wait like a few seconds? Just do it. Go on, go on, you can do it, go on.
careful. That's that girl with rain. Take cover. I thought you said you didn't know how to use one of those things. Luke, you read me? Luke, do you read me? Yeah, I read you. I heard some kind of crash and gunfire. What the hell's happening out there? I heard it too. Sounded like it was east of here. All right, I'm headed back. What happened at the west entrance? It was six killer with some heavy hardware. I've got him hogtied. Well, it sounds like it could end up a nice day after all. Try and stay out of trouble, huh? Go distract him so you can steal his Jeep. What are you talking about? Vince, wasn't I good back there? Beginner's luck, Nancy. Come on. Nancy. Vince, I'm a botanist. I'm planning the rest of my life to read slides and talk to plants. Let me have one tale to tell my grandkids. Okay, go, go. you come from? There were all these men and knives and guns and things. I, I, I don't know they're all dead. Where, where are these men? Well, there's one now. I thought you were good. Guardian angels in one day. You must be living right. Oh. It's okay. Vince, this is not fun anymore. I know. We gotta move. Take one of the Jeeps and go get help. And leave you here alone? I got the feeling there's somebody out there somewhere. Sal said something about two guardian angels. Check and me. Turn around slowly. I have the utmost respect for you, Mr. Raines. It's too bad you have to end up in my collection. If you use that rifle, you're going to need one hell of a taxidermist. It's OK. I only display heads. Aren't you gonna help me? That wouldn't be fair to Bob. You know something, Andre? You're, you're not a very nice guy. And you know what? I've got a job.
Andrew's computers had names, dates, and prices on all his Hunter clients. Derek South is singing like Pavarotti, and the FBI is making arrests all over the country. In other words, there's enough to put him away. Yes, there is. And uh, this is for you. Landry had a $50,000 claim on a bounty that he turned in dead. The cops gave that to us. We want you to have it so you can start new. Just promise me it's not Roscoe's. Bounty Hunter's Honor. There. What's all this for? So you can hire yourself a research assistant. I don't want you out there alone anymore. <laughs> don't worry. I think I've had my one big adventure. I hope so. Yeah, there is one thing missing from the movie. What's that? This. I won't tell my grandkids about that part. <laughs> <laughs>